Very good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to another Sunday Live in the Kitchen with me, Paul, me, Jason, collectively, those, those vegan, vegan guys. guys. Welcome one and all. We can see in the chat already everyone saying it's uh, here where we are, which is uh, not very far from Manchester in England, in the United Kingdom. Uh, I say that because I don't know where you are in the world. Um, it's bright, but cold and windy. Mm -hmm. Very sunny, very cold, very windy. Welcoming the sunshine, though. Welcoming it because it's such a, a delightful thing. Hey. I tell you what though, it was a little bit warmer this morning because I dried a quilt cover and a sheet off lying outside. <laughs> so there you go. That's how. Uh, that's, so that's the weather out of the way. Yes, that's the weather out of the way. So welcome to another Sunday live in the kitchen. Uh, as you may have seen from the thumbnail, um, our order of lives is Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Um, so Sunday is live in the kitchen three o'clock usually we cook something last couple of weeks we've been kind of pie focused very pie focused. today we're doing korean braised toffee which is beautiful uh next week will be saturday and that will be live mukbang 8 30 in the kitchen come and join us for dinner and a lovely chat and the week after that will be friday at 9 p.m sat sitting in the lounge sometimes jason gets his guitar out and yeah and we have a, just have a nice chilled one on a friday normally we, don't we? we do indeed yeah we do indeed um so yeah today i'll get to, i'll get to it uh soon um do excuse me while we're doing this because i'm going to be using my phone so that i can try and also make this into a short portrait recipe vlog um because it's that simple it can be done in a minute easily okay i think if i just film the right little segments so you'll see me doing that today and hopefully then the edited version of that will appear on instagram as a reel on TikTok as a TikTok, and on here uh, on youtube as a short uh this of course is the long form version because we like to have a chat and you know uh see how you all are um should we catch everyone up with what we've been doing yeah well i was just gonna say just going back to what you were just saying a second ago that's kind of the nature of the business now isn't it for any of you that are regular youtuber TikTok, social media people uh shorts are all the rage now yeah and you know, you know it's any way that we can help to promote delicious vegan food which might just be the first thing somebody tries and thinks that's gorgeous i could eat that mm -hmm. on a regular basis that's one meal we placed yeah um everything we do is uh for and on behalf of the animals save as many as we can that's it that's by it. promoting down to worth veganism which is down to worth and veganism <laughs> i've got to add it on the reg on the reg exactly <laughs> <laughs> i'm bringing it back i'm bringing it back from the 90s uh, yeah, so going back to what Paul was saying before as well, yeah, it's been a busy few weeks and particularly a busy few days for us uh, without going into too much detail because Paul is going to be cracking on with the cooking soon. Uh, and as he said, it ain't going to take too long, really. But particularly Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, leading up to today, been really, really busy getting things wound down with our community arts organisation uh, that's been running since 2005. Uh, but we are drawing a line in the sand uh, but the building that we have we've been there since 2014 and we've accumulated as you can imagine quite a lot of stuff since then uh, so it's been a bit full on the last few days but it's also been lovely because a, a lot of the stuff that we've been passing on has gone to music schools primary schools a dojo yeah you know just like the, so it's nice it's nice that the that the kind of legacy items get passed on and continue to live a new life mm -hmm. somewhere else most definitely um, yeah that's lovely yeah so that's kind of what we've been in the thick of over the last few days but we were determined to catch up with you lovely folk today sit in our kitchen and do a live uh that as is the rotation um as we described it right at the start saturday friday sunday Lots of people in the house, 55 already for a, a, a pretty quiet 
Sunday afternoon, really. But like Paul said I before, I imagine anyone sunbathing. No, unless they're in a conservatory or a different country. Yeah, no, but I'm saying in this country. Oh, in this country, yeah, no one's going to be sunbathing today. But you could possibly do it in a conservatory because the sun would come through glass. Yeah, be like tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> cooking yourself like tomatoes we're having a chai before we get stuck in yep uh we need to get some more actually next week from asda it's the uh the asda chai. well I say asda chai drink me chai yeah you can it's get cold. it from asda is it three quid three or four, four quid four pound yeah the green jar is vegan uh, oh uh must let you know we've tried we uh jason managed to get his hands on some of the cathedral city uh cheddar style spread the mature uh the more specifically yeah uh this one managed to pick it up in sainsbury's the other day saw it first time we've seen it got it a bit nearer sorry there we go yeah yeah so we got that we've had uh some of that on um a piece of toast for lunch and it's lovely so yeah, like a nice cheddar spread. Would recommend. Yeah, tasty. Proper tasty. Yeah. Lots of, yeah, lots of people in the house. Lots of hellos. Um, I'm keeping my eye on the chat. It's thick and fast, as always. Our wonderful mod, Ashley, is in the house with a rare day off on a Sunday, which is uh, Bex just asked, asked us, have we thought about doing TikTok lives? It's probably something I'll look into because uh, we, we, we go live through now through Streamyard, which is a like a paid for software program um and uh you do have the ability to go live in multiple places through here mm -hmm. uh it, just so I, yeah that might very well be something i look into i'd probably just say i'll do it now but um i need my phone today to film yeah yeah the bit yeah. we have live streamed in the past on instagram at the same time haven't we yes we do that occasionally um but yeah it's you know it's it's a tough one to keep on top of all these channels it's like you know ah oh, beck we've not seen an hour bloody heron mind you uh uh beck says she picked up the cathedral city spread in heron this week super cheap that's the brilliant thing about heron it's always super cheap a lot of people have been picking up uh tingly ted's hot sauce yeah the ed sheer and stuff two for a pound uh but it's never been in hours no it's always a pause called lottery with heron it is it is but you know what it's great for those who are able to uh and then share and let everybody else know uh, particularly for people who live close to you um that they can pick up these bargains just the same as we do uh for people who are local to us you know but like paul said it is it's a postcard lottery. it really is uh right get me the tofu press out tofu press because uh, i am uh i am sous chef i am basically yeah get this one tofu press with tofu in it <sighs> before i forget as well and um, before paul makes a proper start on this uh, i'll also just give a very quick shout out to mum and dad brom who are uh, who are back home and have uh, access to wi-fi and internet um and will probably be watching this or at least catch up later on much love mum and dad brom looking forward to seeing you soon one block of firm tofu in my tough future tofu press about to be taken out yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is what i'm going to do now every time you film a piece for the show please don't i'm going to nod at the yeah. i won't sorry going back as well uh, adam said the the thing the the the, the thing that snap was annoying in the 90s you know what adam you're not wrong mate you're not wrong I, I do agree with you. I'll try and restrain myself. This is a bit of naked spread. Just so I can block the tops. Just bring you down a little bit, just so you can see what's going on. So for anybody who missed the first few minutes, do you want to just quickly recap on what you're actually doing? Yes, I'm doing Korean braised tofu today. So I'm going to want big pieces. So I think I'm going to do it in that way. That's amazing, right. Ashley, by the way. 
I've now got my um, tofu out of the press and I've stood it up that way because I'm going to do nice thick slabs like that. Thank you so much, Ashley, for your support and for being a channel member for 33 months. That's incredible. Nice. Cut your tofu into nice thick slabs. The bigger the better, but not too thick because we're going to be crisping them up soon. So, this is how I've cut the tofu. You see, it's not too thick, but nice big pieces. Okay, so we'll get these. And the tofu was pressed overnight, wasn't it? No, I've done was it this morning. Was it this morning? Yep. Ah, right. Helly Welly, you are here now, and that is the most important thing. Thank you for joining us. Right, I'm going to use a, I'm going to use a neutral oil to fry this so i'm just, i always use extra virgin um olive oil i just always do always have done uh paul Jeanette says what tofu are you using um in this particular case i'm actually using the one i got from um wing yip but um i've done it with both little and tesco firm tofu blocks so just a firm a good firm tofu but not silken firm not that yeah john's joined us from cornwall thanks for being here joan and beck says i know i should know this having been a vegan since the late 80s but what is the benefit of pressing tofu does it change the texture yes it's uh, when you buy i mean a lot of the tofus you buy these days like for example tofu that's spelled T-O-F-O-O, -O -O, comes in a very tight vacuum pack with very little liquid in it. And it because of the size of the block, because it's a big chunk, you don't really need to press that. However, when it's like cauldron and you open, you know, it's a, a kind of a plastic box with a, a film lid and there's a lot of liquid in there. Yeah, uh, definitely the benefits far outweigh. But you don't need a tofu press. However, the tofu, tofu press, which is in our Amazon store, is brilliant. I've had that for probably about five years now. Yeah, it is great, isn't it? Yeah. So sort of, I think it is a very popular uh, brand in within the vegan community, isn't yeah. it? A lot of people have got them for that reason, really, because they're just decent, decent product. Nice. Oh, sorry, darling. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you okay. all had a great weekend, by the way. You so know, I'm now gonna get these slices of tofu in the frying pan. It takes a while to heat up, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, but not too much. NA says, I have the tofu bud, also uh, satisfied with that one. Nice. Just turn that up a little bit. Now, the aim here is to just fry it until it's golden on either side, golden and crispy. Golden and crispy. Mm -hmm. I'm already looking forward to our evening meal tonight. I'm going to put another just another tiny bit of oil in there i said tiny bit of oil and then i did it 
because I want some of them tucked as well. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Tracy says, um, we use a, used a chickpea tofu for an air fried crispy tofu in our veg and noodle sesame stir fry for the first time the other evening. Really enjoyed the nutty flavour. Oh, nice. Mm. I'm seeing people make tofu with so many things these days. So many different legumes and beans. And that's a fantastic thing, isn't it? So I'm not going to move this too much because I proper want it to, you know... I'm just going to slide them down there. Just, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so um, I'm sure a lot of you is watching right now. 84 in the house. Thank you for being here. I'm sure a lot of you will already know this. But when we eat this later on, I mean, we will be trying a little bit of it. But when we actually have our evening meal later on, that will be up on Tuesday, which is our regular upload of our meals vlog, where we share all of the stuff that we eat for our evening meals. Um, uh, which we've been told helps a lot of people with your meal planning and your ideas and of course we also do taste tests as well I'm just going to move my cup whilst we're waiting for this Uh, Jay, while you're over there, uh -huh. pass them two front bottles of uh, soy sauce, the silver and the gold. Yep. Oh, and the sesame oil. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Oh, it's all right. It's what I'm here for. Yep, that's it. I'm over there now. That's what I'm here for. Help out. <laughs> Well, you know, this is the thing, isn't it? Um, Meat is Murder says, I've never had fresh tofu. And I think that's the thing. We've said it before. We wish we'd have got into tofu sooner. Uh, because I think a lot of people, when they get on the vegan journey, sometimes they're just a little bit like, where do I start? Where do I start with tofu? We've done a great vlog uh, tackling tofu in which we show you how to make four different styles. If that that was a live like this. Um, I mean, we'll probably, we might even edit this into a long form recipe vlog, which we could probably get under 10 minutes. Um, fry your tofu with a neutral flavorless oil until crispy and golden on both sides. Doc says, so glad you're doing this recipe. I have avoided tofu because I was so unsure what to do. Yeah, well, like Paul said before as well, check out the channel, check out that um, that tofu masterclass um, because it is brilliant. And uh, I think it alleviates a lot of people's worries about just what you can do. Um, and the versatility, it's the word word for today, versatility of tofu. Siddy has just joined us, says, hi guys, just joined, what seasonings have you put on the tofu so far? Nothing. Nothing so far, Nothing Siddy. At all. Everything's in the sauce, which I'm going to throw together in a minute. Hmm. Oh yes. Nice. Uh, Meters Murder says, did you guys ever go the Curzon Club Liverpool? No, not that I'm aware of. Nope. Cats in the house. Thanks for being here, cat. Just catching up on some of the comments and some of the chat. 91 in the house. If you are enjoying the live stream this sunny Sunday, hopefully it's sunny for you, please do consider giving it a quick thumbs up. It's free, it's quick, and it's easy, and it helps us. 
spread the down to earth vegan message to more people because people do discover us whilst we're doing our live streams uh, we often get quite a few new subscribers um so the thumbs up always appreciated oh thanks tracy for the uh for the lovely words yeah quite a few people have uh have sent us messages and have commented on uh, how useful that tofu vid is vegan runners in the house thanks for being here i want, I want quite a bit more color yeah on this really it's golden at the moment but i'd like a bit more a bit more brown yeah 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 right should we make the sauce uh, so I'll tell the folks there, I would like you to film it. Okay. Um, so that, yeah, because all of this needs to go on. Right. Okay. So are you ready for the sauce, guys? So I'm just going to focus in on the actual bowl, yeah? Yeah. Just like right there. Yeah. Right, for the sauce, we want three tablespoons of water and three tablespoons of soy sauce. So I'm going to be using two tablespoons of light soy sauce. There we go, one. Two, and I'm going to be using one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce is just a much more intense flavour and much more salty. So that's three tablespoons of soy sauce, three tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and the rest of the ingredients are dry. A tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of sesame seeds, I'm using black, but you can use white. And a tablespoon of dried red chilli flakes, gochugaru. For any dried red chilli flakes. And that, other than the spring onions, is the sauce. Now you can add chopped spring onions into that now, or you can wait till once the sauce is in there. I'd wait until it's in there myself. Ooh, there's your sauce. Nice. Yes! That's what I wanted. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Adam says the sound of that tofu crisping up is proper a AMSR. <laughs> See the colour on that now, guys. That's what we want. Ashley, it was recording, thankfully, and I completely agree with you. I double-checked it twice to make sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I got splashed whilst I was filming then. Did you? That's a like a wince slightly. I don't know if anybody spotted it. I'm gonna hutch myself back a little bit. get a shot of it brown yeah well if you can film this again and get a good shot i'll pour the sauce in and i'll stay like one shot okay multitasking yeah once your tofu is lovely and golden brown and crispy like this 
get you sorted. Make sure all the bits go in there. And this is when it starts to braise. Hence, Korean braised tofu. Oh yeah! Very nice. And I'm just gonna scissor cut my spring onions directly. And scissor cut your bunch of spring onions. I'm using six here. Nice big pieces into the sauce. Serve when ready with rice or whatever you fancy. Nice. Okay, we're back now. Let's get that little uh, little bit sorted. Yeah. It smells heavenly as well, Sidi. Smells heavenly. And I'm gonna. Turn the pieces because I want the sauce on both sides. Mm. You do have asbestos fingertips, don't you? Asbestos fingertips fall. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, I've got to dip my head out of the way. It helps it focus a little bit. Yeah, uh, I can actually turn this off now. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's it, pretty much done. And we'll just warm this up later and uh, have it with rice. But, of course, we're going to have a piece now mm. to try with you guys because it would be rude not to. Meat is murders are scared to try tempeh. You know what? We've had tempeh a few times. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not a massive fan of tempeh. It's all right, but like the tempeh bacon, I'm not I'm not a huge fan myself. Oh, I've made that a few times. It's I? all right. It's just it's just all right. I think it's more of a textural thing uh, that I'm not so keen on with it. Right, I need this over here. Nice. That just needs to cool down, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will, um, I will shift it. It's going on there now. <laughs> it's a bit noisy. Right, here we go. Adam, funnily enough, I said that. Um, that's a good point you make, a good observation. I said that last time we had this. What? I was surprised at how much the tofu, how much flavour the tofu would take on. Salt, salt, I know. Um, because Adam was saying about uh, marinating the tofu for a few hours. Um, I'm a soup. Don't need it, Don't Adam. need it, does no. it? Really? I mean, you could, I suppose. Yeah, but... but then you're changing it. Then it's not Korean braised tofu. Then it changes into something else. This is Korean braised tofu, and it's done this way. And the recipe varies slightly. You know, there's loads of recipes out there, but it's... It's always plain tofu, fried until crispy, and then the sauce. Mm. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Mm. 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 It's so good. It's beautiful. It? <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful, guys. Mm. Absolutely full of flavour. Mm. Mm. Relatively quick and simple as mm -hmm. well. It really doesn't take long, does it? No. No. Mm. Delicious. Oh. 
absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Ashley, if we share with you all, we won't have any left for our dinner later on. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Absolutely lovely. What are we having it with later? Rice and broccoli? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we get rid of this? Mm. Yeah. Proper, proper tasty, that. There we go. All sorted. No. Oh, that um, dried red chilli flakes, it, it, it just adds a nice, it's not hot, is it, but there's a warmth. Yeah, 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 it's not, uh, it's exactly what you just said, it's a warmth, it's a nice gentle warmth. Yeah, Dorcas agree, could go with so, so many things, in fact, throw your ideas here. Um, we're just gonna, uh, like I said, have it with um, brown rice boiled with a uh, veg stock cube just to give it a bit more flavour and I might throw some edamame in with the rice. Yeah. We've got plenty of it. And and then have broccoli on the side as well. Yeah. yeah. We've stocked up on edamame that sounds, recently. That sounds lovely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like Dorcas said, so quick and could go with so many things. Uh, Adam, fastest Sunday cook along ever. <laughs> Definitely making this. Yeah, it's honestly it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Even I think even I could mas manage that. And I don't think it matters what sesame seeds you use. I would prefer as a default to use white, but I, I I've got like a quarter of a teaspoon. So oh, uh, so Doc says noodles and bok choy monge too. Oh yes, yes. Chili fried broccoli question mark from Flanny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tony. Once you've cooked it, you can then let it cool a bit and throw it in a salad. Delish. Oh, you could actually. Tofu salad. Yeah, yeah. That in a salad would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, especially with kimchi on the side. Yeah. On a nice warm summer's day. Yeah. We're not there yet. No. But, you know, I could see that being really nice, actually. Nice one, Tony. Some great ideas there. So, yeah, I hope... Uh, I hope... <laughs> Meat is murder. Chips and mushy peas. <laughs> I can't knock you, lad. I can't knock you. I would totally have that. I would I would absolutely have that with bread and butter. Yeah. Ooh, Korean braised tofu and mushy pea boy. <laughs> Wouldn't rule it out. Oh, nice, Ashley. I'd make a soft fried noodle with ses sesame, broccoli and dumplings, dipping sauce as well, of course. Yes. Got to love a dipping sauce. <laughs> and they uh, waited for summer to come around and make us all happy. At least we're in spring now. I mean, it, at least it's not going dark at three o'clock. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very true. Tony, absolutely. Between two slices of bread. Uh... <laughs> Will it muffin? It absolutely would muffin. Without a doubt. Yeah, definitely. Without a doubt. So I know you're all going to have a, a try of that. I, I tried it a, a few weeks ago for the first time. And then tweet, I've tweaked the recipe twice now. That's where I've ended up and that's where I'm staying. Because that to me is, is perfection. Um, It's just got the right heat level it's got. It's the... It's not too salty because the sugar undercuts that saltiness. So mm -hmm. it's got a really nice, sweet, sour, tangy, slightly spicy, fresh with crisp onion, uh, with um, spring onion. So it's beautiful. Perfect. It's beautiful. Perfect description. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you're getting. That's the, that's the, uh, you know, the pleasure. Oh, Siddy says, uh, would be nice in a vegan kimbap. Kimbap is like the, am I right, uh, Siddy? Is kimbap like the the large version of um, um, sushi? Like really big pieces. But 
essentially the same thing like ingredients and rice in seaweed but a big one it, that's kimbap isn't it i don't actually know hello leanne <laughs> all glad, the hands in the house glad you could make it love for yes. like we always say always appreciated never expected indeed indeed short one today in case you're wondering leanne by the way short one Sidi, how do you how does one eat kimbap like sushi just like by hand and dip it in would you would you have wasabi and soy sauce with it or some other kind of dipping sauce i'm going to be having a bash at making sushi uh at some point i bought sushi rice i'd like to but say i probably i might do that on the next sunday live actually oh that'd be fun yeah because i was going to say i'd like to help with that but also i know oh, well, i know I'm, what i'm like well I'm, I'm, you know because it's practical it's handsy isn't it yeah, it's handsy yeah. it's well, like I'm, arts and crafts we'll have a laugh with it but with food indeed you do yeah oh thank you all for uh for joining us um we've got 111 in the house so it's it's crept up uh over the last uh sort of half an hour or so um but it's so nice of you to join us uh for what turned out to be quite a quick cooking in the kitchen uh in terms of the actual food in oh, we can still chat for a little yeah, short while can can't we it's uh might end up being a shorter one than than usual today but um yeah it, it's now i want to edit that version of the recipe vlog and we will download this um after we oh no because we did we weren't really focusing on the no no i don't think it'll like i don't know i don't know well we can see can't we we can review and evaluate oh that's lovely deborah thank you deborah says hello from rome i'm learning so much from you guys thank you oh city says i would have it with a sweet and sour sauce or some soy sauce mixed with vinegar when i do my dipping sauce for our chinese platter uh, i always mix white rice vinegar light soy sauce dark soy sauce and then very finely chopped chilies and spring onions in it that's how we kind of dipping sauce isn't it for our dumplings love dumplings so much so so much <laughs> Don't you just love that, Leanne, when uh, when friends um, come round unannounced or plans are come round unannounced? She spent the last hour frantically cleaning. Yeah. Do not worry, it is all good. Uh, Waterloo Bicycle Works, all our lives stay online. We they, they stay online as a vlog afterwards, always. In fact, if you it should have a thing at the bottom now where you can actually go back yeah um you know like uh, showing you how far it's we've been on it should say like 37 minutes and then you can move it back to the uh cooking part 37 minutes 38 now actually adam was asking um if anyone's seen the beetlejuice trailer it looks good we saw we did teaser did we i don't trailer. i don't know if that was real no the the was real it? one by warner brothers was ah. is, but it's just a a teaser right i think there's a proper official trailer out now. all right well. so yeah we'll have to have a look at that and check it out most definitely yeah alien romulus as well uh is looking quite good trailer dropped for that a few days ago uh if anybody's a fan of the uh the alien franchise looks looking good it's looking good i don't want to uh, i want to get my hopes up too much but i love the alien films we're still in the uh thick of um re-watching voyager i think we've just gone on to season five yeah oh we? last night yeah thoroughly enjoying uh thoroughly enjoying watching voyager again oh it's brilliant we've not had a huge amount of time to watch a ton of stuff recently no but we always make sure that when we have our dinner every night we that's very important no matter how busy you are because we are hella busy at the moment and will be for the next few weeks actually just until things have wound down properly and then we can you know perhaps chill a little bit but it's always important every day we always make sure we sit down with our dinner and watch an episode of voyager because that's something we both love yeah. having a meal watching something we really enjoy and that's our wind down mm -hmm. time yeah totally totally no we can't wait for the new uh ghostbusters either which alien film is your favorite jason darker Darkus asks. Oh, um, you put me on the spot there, Darkus. Um, 
probably the first one truth be known sorry to be a bit boring but i think the first one they broke the mold with that film um i think it's exceptional absolutely exceptional so yeah <laughs> uh, yeah i don't know how to reheat that afterwards i might just scrape it all onto our plates and put it in the nuke for a minute yeah warm it up that way rather than refrying it again yeah you know what i mean whatever you think's best i'll see whatever you think's best <laughs> Adam, sometimes it's two episodes a night. It just depends how we're feeling. It's mostly two episodes a night. Yeah, to be honest with you. yeah. We've we've been known just because we're not watching much else. At no, the we're watching watching YouTube stuff. We've been watching quite a bit of the Y Files. Um, it's called the Y Files. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really liking the Y Files. There's a big back catalogue there. It's all interesting stuff, well presented, with a little bit of humour on the side from Hecklefish. Um, doesn't necessarily need um the the subscribers very very successful channel but um if you're into all things uh you know unusual unusual and different and you know a bit weird and wonderful AJ, uh, AJ and hecklefish great channel fabulous i only discovered it recently yeah you know it's uh yeah just really good but uh yeah meet is murder um that is star trek voyager um because he said uh, not heard of Voyager, so just wanted to clarify. It's in the Star Trek universe. It's a Star Trek series uh, with the first female captain, I do believe. Janeway was the first female captain, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Darkest, what did you think of Poor Things? That's that's one of the movies on our radar. Is it, is, is it like a Frankenstein story? yes i know i know it took me a second to uh join the dots up then but yeah i know what you're talking about now mm. oh flanny um i forgot his name that is impossible yeah we watch him too i can't remember his name no yeah james james yeah the impossible channel <laughs> yeah yeah is that what you mean oh no that's the impossible channel isn't it it's not that is impossible mm. i'll just scroll back up a little bit and dixon i want to start the star trek journey i loved it as a kid loved the films but now i have so much uh now have so much time on my hands need good stuff to watch star trek voyager start with voyager and you and you won't be disappointed or even star trek the next generation actually but just grit your teeth through half of season one yeah yeah they were finding the feet with the first few episodes weren't yeah. they yeah i'd say first five or six like yeah maybe. oh no it is james all right yeah yeah james is quite funny i like james i like how he says um tell your dogs tell your cats <laughs> when he's asking people to subscribe to the channel he sees always remembers to say don't forget to share the channel with dogs and your cats as well get them to subscribe also always fun always fun but yeah as many of you will know we uh, we do lean into the sci-fi uh ufos uap conspiracy theory stuff we do occasionally go down the odd rabbit hole uh, with that so obviously the stuff that we watch on youtube sometimes not always sometimes is reflective of that and um, we've talked about it before haven't we we don't actually watch a huge amount of vegan content on youtube really do we not really no um ju ju i think the the vegan that we watch the most and she isn't really vlogging a huge amount anymore is lisa yeah the vegan yeah. yeah so lisa the Via vegan and when she, I, I like that her content is random and sporadic at the moment, and with, chaotic with the little ones, uh, the yeah. little ones sort of in the background constantly doing stuff. <laughs> nice one, nice one, Anne. Honestly, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, whilst we're on the subject of Star Trek as well, randomly, 
Um, I don't know if anybody is aware of this uh, news, but yesterday it went off big time because season two of Star Trek Prodigy has exclusively dropped in, now. in France and only France. So I'm assuming that season two of Prodigy is going to be coming very soon. Fingers crossed. Thoroughly looking forward to that as well. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah. Scrolly, scrolly. Make sure I've not missed anything. I don't think you have. No, I think we're. Uh, I think we're okay. I think we're all good, and we got caught up. Tracy had said, "I've heard about this. We need to watch a trailer for it." Um, Tracy says, "Has anybody watched Three Body Problem or seen the trailer at all? It's supposed to be really, really good." And I think it's on Netflix. It's a horror, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, I've just heard a lot of. There's been a lot of buzz around it and a lot of talk. Write it down so you don't forget. That's oh, your phone. phone. I ain't got my phone. I won't forget. Three body problem. It's a weird title. Sorry, Simon. I missed your comment. Thank you for being here. Uh, Simon says, "Hi guys, happy Sunday live. Have you seen the movie Prey?" Has Predator in it and Indians. Yes, loved Prey. Watched it twice. Absolutely brilliant. I think there's a Prey 2 on the way as well at some point. But absolutely loved that because it's fair to say that there's been a couple of dodge, slightly dodgy Predator films over the years. But similar to the Alien franchise, uh, I absolutely love the Predator franchise as well. So it is a bit sad when uh, they don't quite do it justice. But I think I feel personally the Prey film was absolutely top notch top notch and i also love that they had a powerful female protagonist who absolutely kicked ass she was amazing yeah proper good film hmm. ah cheers alison for the reminder to people yes thumbs up on the live stream always appreciated it really does help genuinely, not just on the live streams, on the just the content in, genu in general. Uh, the thumbs up, the comments, the shares, it really does help. Rebecca, I think uh, Tempe actually does. Well, I know it takes on flavour well because I've brought, I bought blocks from, like Jay said before, he's not keen on it, but I have bought blocks from uh, Wingate before, cut it into really thin slices and marinated it with like liquid smoke and a bit of soy sauce and some smoked paprika and made bacon oven baked bacon and it's proper took the flavor mm -hmm. on so it does it is bland but it does take flavor on right good right good it does yeah docker says a guilty pleasure of mine was cowboys versus aliens i loved mm -hmm. that film yeah, i loved good. it it was a great film <laughs> yeah we'll check that out tracy definitely because you know i mean we we just half the time we, we just, love sci-fi. We love sci-fi. Sci sci-fi is sci-fi and horror. Yeah, are our two favourite genres. Other than that, a right good character-driven drama, mm -hmm. and an emotional drama, even. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, well, I'm going to. I'm. I'm going to. Um, shout out then that let's start bringing this one to a close uh because we've we've done that in the short time it takes to do that i want to get it covered or put away or so it's you know i don't just want to leave it sat in the pan like that uh for later on but we will i will be doing brown rice and edamame together and uh steamed broccoli with that tofu yeah yeah like I said earlier, thoroughly looking forward to my evening meal already. Um, check out the meals vlog on Tuesday. Um, Callum, we don't watch Doctor Who, uh, but that's just because we've never really been into it. Although we started watching it for a short while when we, it was. We've dipped in. Billy Piper was in it and um, Christopher Eccleston. Yes, was it? when Christopher Eccleston was the Doctor, I and think we, we were like, watched, wow. We watched is... most of it. Yeah. Yeah. We, we we right enjoyed it and then just kind of petered off again but so yeah doesn't grip me doctor who no really massively but um you know i do appreciate it. it's supposed to be very 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 good um it's one of the few 
things within the kind of sci-fi sci-fi genre (laughs) sci-fi that we don't really uh, because we we do genuinely like paul said we love it we love it as a as a genre but also equally we like paul said we love horror but there's a lot of six out of ten horror films yeah. out there. We they're, mentioned it before. They're watchable. They're watchable. But, but you know, if you ain't got like a lot of time, a, we like a film that we enjoy that much. We'll happily watch it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. So happy days, happy days. But yeah, thank you for joining us today. It's yeah, been thanks, lovely. guys. Uh, and uh, honestly, please give the uh, Korean braised tofu a try and watch out for the short form portrait recipe vlog um which i hope uh will be no more than a couple of minutes long it should be I should hope. be a couple of minutes give or take yeah to so between two and three minutes hopefully nice one fingers crossed thanks for coming spending your time with us we always really really appreciate it um hope you've enjoyed it hope you've learned something uh please share this with your family and friends i'm turning into emmy now <laughs> <laughs> i'll, I'll um, do james don't forget to tell your dogs and your cats don't forget to like because it takes us to the top of youtube <laughs> that's vivian <laughs> uh, yeah and of course thank you to our wonderful mods as well of course that have been here uh, all your lovely comments, your questions, uh, it brightens our day. I know we often say it, but it's true. Uh, even when we've got a million and one things going on in the background, and sometimes, some days it feels like our brains are about to melt. It's always lovely to be here, to connect with you lovely folk. Uh, always a pleasure, never a chore. Love you, mister. Love you. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us again. We will see you again very soon. And until then, will you please be excellent to yourselves and each other? Bye, loves.